Hello YouTube, Dirt Furdler here. Welcome to a video that I'm making right now, but by the time you'll watch it, it will have been made. So, um, for the next few days, this channel is going to be focused on E3 because I care about E3. I watch it every year. I watch all the press conferences. I watch everything I care about, and I thought, why shouldn't I, you know, make a make stuff about it? So here we are. The first thing that happened today, we're going to talk about, is um, the EA press conference just got done recently and um, they talked about some cool stuff I'm just gonna go through I'm basically gonna recap everything if you don't mind you can skip around if you want it's the internet free country the world is your oyster all that stuff first thing they talked about was Titanfall 2 which I am so very excited for I loved the first Titanfall I played it on 360 a lot uh, more than I would like to admit because yeah so um, it's confirmed to be on PS4 which is awesome because that's the current gen console that I own. I don't have an Xbox One at the moment. Probably will soon, but not for Titanfall 2. Um, they showed off multiplayer. They showed off single player. There's a single player campaign, so that's awesome. I love single player campaigns. I play them way more than multiplayer, honestly, because I don't know, it's just it's what I enjoy. I like stories in games. Uh, multiplayer's fun. I like Call of Duty. I like shooting people in the face within the confines of a video game, not in real life because that's illegal and stuff. But anyways... Multiplayer looks really good. Uh, they're doing a multiplayer test later this year to, like, a lot of games do that. They do, like, tests and stuff to see if you can, they can handle it. They showed a trailer for the single player. It looks awesome. Comes out October 26th, month after my birthday. Looks awesome. Cannot wait for that. And then, you know, it's EA. They talked about freaking sports ball. You know, they like to do that. First, they talked about Madden 17, because that's a big deal for them. Uh, let's see. They talked about, like, eSports events they're doing, because that's a thing. And then they showed this video with, like, MLG Madden players, like the pro-level people. And uh, <laughs> it's funny. They showed, like, two people in the video, right? And then the one guy in the video, because afterwards they showed them all in, like, a line of, like, ten people, including the two people in the video. I'm good at talking. And the one guy had, like, his arm in a cast. Like, how's he even going to freaking play? That's hilarious. Made me laugh. Anyways, sports ball. Next, they talked about Mass Effect Andromeda. I've never played a Mass Effect game. I, I never did. Back when they were new and popular and stuff, I didn't play. I didn't have, like, a... I only played, like, the Wii to play, like, Guitar Hero and stuff. That's my fault. Anyways, new Mass Effect looks good. Uh, it's in a new setting, new characters. It's... It's a new narrative, basically, and it looks it looks pretty good from the trailer they showed. Um, yeah. They showed a behind-the-scenes video. It looks pretty good. I'm mildly excited for it. I feel like I'll buy it eventually. And by eventually, I mean day it comes out. Uh, then they showed off... They talked about Play to Give, which sounds stupid. It's a good idea. You know, they give money to charities and stuff, but I didn't understand it. And then they spent about seven years talking about FIFA because that's what they do. FIFA 17, there's like a story mode. It's called The Journey. It's stupid. Some guy's like way too into soccer and just living his life that way. There's managers in the new game, uh, so that's cool, I guess. They're talking about complete innovation with like freaking new physics, and they did mocap. It's like, you, you always do that. You do that every year. Why well, acting like it's a, it's a big deal there? Stupid. Um... Then they talked about EA Originals, which I assume is, like, indie stuff. It's what it basically boils down to. It's EA is funding, like, indie games, because they're nice. And they showed off a game called Fee. It's F-E? Fee? I don't know. Who cares? It's, like, nature stuff. It's it's way too purple. I thought it looked stupid. Um, and then they were bragging about Star Wars. They talked about the 20,000 Star Wars games coming out within the next, like, three years. Uh, I don't care about Star Wars, even though I look like a person that totally would, but I never, never gonna try. I bought Battlefront, and I have never played it. Thanks, Guitar Hero. Um, and then to wrap it up, they talked about Battlefield 1, which looks amazing. That's not my normal voice, I just got excited. Um, Battlefield 1 looks really good. They showed a couple trailers, it looks awesome. And then right after the conference, they showed, um, like a, like a, like a multiplayer match. Like they live, like they revealed it to the world. It was like a 64-player multiplayer match. It was pretty, it was pretty good. 
pretty good stuff. Uh, that game comes out October 21st. Open beta later this summer. So yeah, it was it was, uh, it was an okay conference, I guess. It was it was okay. Nothing nothing too spectacular. I'm excited for Battlefield and Titanfall though. Like those are those are really fun games. So all right, I will. That's it for that. Um, wow, I'm good at talking. Uh, so yeah, the next one is Bethesda. That's later tonight. They're gonna do. I'm sure they'll talk about Fallout and stuff. I don't know. I'm not into Bethesda either. The big ones are tomorrow: Microsoft, Sony, Ubisoft, stuff like that. And the day after is Nintendo. So a lot of E3 stuff's gonna be coming. So stay tuned to Dirt Further Gaming because why wouldn't you? You want to hear me talk some more? Well, you know how to make that continue. Uh, so yeah, subscribe, all that stuff. Watch me more, and yeah. Take it easy. Until next time. I'm bad at saying goodbye, so bye.